Hey everybody, welcome to PC Perspective. I'm Ryan Shrout, here today to talk about the ASUS GeForce GTX 1060 Turbo. That is this video card that we have here uh, sitting next to me. Now, despite the name Turbo, this is in fact a very stock performance graphics card. This is actually the base level video card that you can buy from ASUS. Uh, you can tell just kind of by looking at it that it's as simplistic as video cards come these days, right? It is a uh, plastic blower style housing, you know, blower cooler, uh, no back plate on it. Uh, in terms of cost, this is the one that ASUS is targeting at that $249 MSRP that we've all been talking about from NVIDIA, although it's still very hard to find GTX 1060s uh, that do that. Uh, as I said, so it's it's a it's a base stock card, 1280 CUDA cores, 1506 megahertz uh, base clock, 1708 megahertz boost clock. You've got six gigs of GDDR5 memory running at eight gigahertz speed. It has the 120 watt TDP, and uh, it is a full implementation of the GP. 106 GPU. Again, just like uh, the same specifications as the Founders Edition, but in theory, it should be $70 uh, less expensive than that. Um, in terms of finding it for sale, still hard to find Pascal GPUs for sale, right? So this one uh, I saw on B&H Photo for $269, out of stock on Amazon, out of stock on Newegg as we record this, but that, uh, that stock situation will change dramatically as, uh, as the days goes by. Uh, Couple of interesting things. The ASUS software for this is enables three switchable modes uh, with one button clicks. Essentially, they call them um, what they call them: OC mode, gaming mode, and silent mode. And the difference here is really just 20 megahertz base clock steps. Uh, out of the box, you get the gaming mode, which is base clock, 1506 base clock, uh, 1708 uh, boost, kind of your reference speeds. In the OC mode, they basically add 20 megahertz to that, and in the silent mode, they remove. 20 megahertz from that. So there's not a huge difference there. And honestly, there's not a really big difference in noise levels either. Um, it's just kind of one of those things that they throw in there. That's a nice checkbox feature, I guess. Uh, but don't expect very different uh, performance or experiences using this card with either of those settings. Uh, what you can expect is some pretty impressive overclocking though, even though it is a blower style cooler. Out of the box, snow, uh, stock settings, um, running Unige in heaven for 10 plus minutes. What we really found uh, the clock speed to settle at was 1815 megahertz, 1.815 gigahertz on clock speed. And that's actually really impressive, right? That's more than 100 megahertz over the rated boost clock. And um, we've seen pretty good experiences with the GTX 1060 in that regard. Uh, overclocked, I was able to use the a uh, ASUS GPU tweak software and get a plus 240 megahertz offset on it, um, which actually took us to a uh, base clock of 1747 and a rated boost clock of 1950, just in terms of specifications. But in the real world, the, the clock results uh, in Unigen Heaven over 10 minutes was 2,083 megahertz. So again, a pretty good overclock there, over two gigahertz uh, without much work using pretty simplistic software and pretty simplistic uh, switches and settings there. So impressive to see uh, for a $249 or so video card. In terms of power consumption, we obviously are paying more attention to that since the RX 480 issue. Um, this card, the 1060, pretty evenly splits power draw between your motherboard slot and the six pin power connector on the card. Uh, that being said, it's under the 5.5 amp rating required for the motherboard slot, uh, even running Metro last light at 4K, which is kind of our worst case scenario. When overclocked, it is drawing closer to six uh, amps across there. So it is actually going over spec, but you're overclocking the card. So we kind of give them the benefit of the doubt, but under stock settings, it's within, it's within all the ranges that we need uh, for that. Performance wise, exactly identical to a GTX 1060. So expect it to be, you know, 18 to 19% faster than a GTX 970, 25% slower than a GTX 1070, uh, and anywhere from zero to 30% faster than the Radeon RX 480. Obviously your uh, games like Hitman and Gears of War, we've shown the RX 480 can be a little bit faster than the GTX 1060. Um, but for games like Dirt Rally at 1080p, uh, this ASUS card is 20% faster than the 480. At GTA 5, probably the best case scenario for NVIDIA cards, it's 30% faster uh, than the RX 480. So there's some significant differences there. In terms of noise levels, it's not a quiet card, right? It's a blower style cooler. It's not uh, super tuned. It's not incredibly high quality cooling components. It gets the job done. You're maintaining the GPU at, at 83C or below. Actually, I think it never really went above 79 degrees Celsius, uh, but it is 
fairly loud. It's louder than the reference RX 480 cooler. It's louder than the Founders Edition card. Um, so be prepared for that if you're going to purchase this, this product. And we've seen a lot of the uh, kind of base level MSRP Pascal parts, whether that be GTX 1080, 1070, or 1060, kind of have that as the result, right? In order to get down to that base level price, they're using bare minimum components to get the job done. Uh, but it is getting the job done. It's just not going to be uh, a, a super silent PC uh, when you do that. So if you're building in a big case, you're not worried about it, your desk's under your or your computer's under your desk, whatever it happens to be, uh, I wouldn't worry about it. But if you're super concerned about noise levels, something to be aware of. It's still hard to find, and that's kind of the biggest complaint we have about not just the ASUS GTX 1060 Turbo, but about all the 1060s. Um, they're hard to find, and prices are still kind of settling down in their places. I, I, th I think we're, we're, we're within range of when that should stop uh, being the case, uh, but I, I continue to say that over and over again. Um, St availability is there, so as availability has settled, I think prices will start to settle. Like I said, uh, the only place I was able to find this for sale was b &H Photo. It was $269, which is just 20 bucks more than it's supposed to be. Uh, but when you're the only one with stock, you have the uh, the capability to do that. So um, overall, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of this card. It's, it's how do I say this? It's nothing special other than it is a fantastic $250 video card, right? It's a, the GTX 1060 is an amazing card at that price point. Uh, this is the six gig variant, right? So you get the full frame buffer, uh, you get the full 1280 CUDA cores, you know, all the stuff that goes along with it, the great display output configuration. Uh, as long as you can find it in stock and you can find it at a price point that you're comfortable with, I think it will make a great uh, mid-range 1080p uh, video card and even stretching into that 25 uh, by 14 range. We have the full review over at PCPro.com. Obviously, you can see all the benchmarks, the photos, the uh, power consumption graphs, overclocking results, all that in more detail is in the written review in the description below. And uh, we'll talk to you next time, guys. Thanks. If you enjoyed this content, consider supporting in-depth technical content by contributing at patreon.com slash PCPer.